Hey guys, what's up? It's Storm Blair here. And um, today I have a little tutorial on how to get the. Uh, here, let me show you. <clears throat> how to get the swipe keyboard for the Droid Incredible. Oh, and by the way, I actually installed the. Uh, anti-fingerprint screen shield as you can see I nailed it dead on to me that's perfection right there um... you know it it does look a bit blurry on the screen but trust me guys when you look at it straight here where I am it's it's perfection really um... anyways I'm gonna show you how to get the swipe keyboard so first what you gotta do is you're going to have to um, go to the link down there and you're gonna download that file what you're gonna do is you're just going to extract it to your desktop and then what you gotta do is you're gonna go ahead and um, connect your phone to the PC and mount it as a disk drive you know how when it asks you it brings a notification bar and it says well, what do you what do you want to mount it as you're gonna say that you want to mount it as a disk drive so you go ahead and do that and yeah, by the way, you have to have a SIM card for the. I mean, a SIM card, a, a memory card for this. So, it's gonna open up the phone memory, and it's gonna open up the uh, the memory stick. Okay. And you're gonna wanna open up the memory stick. Now, what I like to do is because I like being organized, I went ahead and um, made a a new folder in the memory stick, and I called it Incredible Add-ons. Um, as you can see, it's it's right there. It might be backwards to you, but it's it's that center one right there. And um, you can do that on the computer once the the device is mounted on. And um, you go ahead and what you're gonna do is once you download the the file, you're going to just drag it and drop it into the uh, folder that you created, which is gonna be called Incredible Add-ons. Once you do that, you're just going to unmount it from the phone and unmount it from your computer. That way, there's no um, errors with the with the you know with the memory. And um, once you do that, you're gonna want want to download this. It's called. Hold on, let it. I'm I'm in the the Android. It's called Easy Strong's File Explorer. I don't know if you can see that. It's free. They're not going to charge you. All you have to do is go ahead and uh, go to your search up here. And all you have to type is, is um, Easy ES and then Strong's. And search that. Oh, sorry, I guess. Never mind. You're going to type in File Explorer. File Explorer. And you're gonna wait for it to open. And well, the one I have the is the Easy Strongs. I don't know where exactly that is. It's this one. It's the eFile File Manager. Um, it doesn't really matter as long as it's a File Manager or File Explorer. It really doesn't matter. But once you go ahead and mount, um, you drag that to the memory card. You're gonna go ahead and open up that file manager, and that's what's gonna open up all your. As you can see, it has all your um, documents in the memory card or the phone. You can pick up here which where do you want to go. So when you go to the incredible add-ons, add-ons, as you can see here, I have the swipe in there. All you have to do is click that one, and it's gonna open up. Um, basically, it's gonna tell you you want to install this, kind of like when you download a normal app from the Android. But that's all you need, the easy file, and you need to download the, the link down there in the, the, in the description. Um, after that, where you want to go is you want to go to your settings, and you're going to go to language and keyboard, and then you're going to go to, it's going to add a new option there, and it's going to say swipe. All you have to do is highlight that. Now, another problem I had 
um, is first that it tells you that it may be able to collect data but it won't just press OK also another thing you need to remember guys is you need to go to your applications before you do this and uh, check the box that says unknown sources at the top I know it's backwards for you guys I'm sorry I don't know how to fix that but it, it's the top one you go to applications okay on your settings and you check the unknown sources box make sure it has a check mark if not it's not going to let you mount on this disk drive so you're going to go back to um, language and keyboard and put the swipe and turn it on and you also have swipe settings you have auto spacing auto capitalization word prediction enable tip indicator another thing guys is I do recommend you go through the tutorial which is at the very end it's a lengthy tutorial but it'll teach you all you need to know about swipe because this um a keyboard is pretty tricky I mean I thought I I you know I thought I had it without the tor tutorial and no I, I really had to go through the tutorial because it was pretty hard anyways guys um oh yeah you're gonna go back to your um, to your messages and another thing that you have to do is Let's see, let's go to messages. You're gonna go to now uh, let's say compose. Right here where it says tap to compose, you're gonna tap it. Sorry about that. Tap it and then hold. And you're gonna it's gonna ask you uh, an option input method. Click that and you're gonna also have to put in swipe for that because then if not if not, it's not gonna work. It's gonna normally it's gonna be in touch input when you do this but then you have to change it to swipe that way it's on the options and on the messages itself now this is the the normal android message it came with um, I'm using the hand sent and that's another cool thing that you can customize like that and then you can have bubbles so that's really cool um, but yeah guys that's pretty much it that's all you have to do and um, yeah guys if you have any questions or comments go ahead and um, leave them down in the comment box and um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys.